Hello everyone, this is Laszlo and you are watching at the third episode of my Space Engineers playthrough. Hopefully, I managed to fix all the audio issues I had in previous episodes. Now we have game audio and I'm, I adjusted my microphone so it will be a bit better at picking up my voice. I also set my keyboard and mouse further so there will be less clicking and I'm absolutely pumped about this episode because I am finally ready uh, with a surprise additional mod that I made myself and it will await us in the first waypoint if we manage to get there but for that, I plan to move this space with me. There will, be a, there will be a couple of things that I need to do in order to make that happen. And for that, I will actually make... I, I took a, a, a note from Mad Mom's videos he actually organizes himself by putting an LCD screen up and writing whatever he needs to do, so that's what I will do here as well. Hold on. LCD. Oh, this is definitely bigger than what I need. And just a small one. Is the right thing small? Like really, really smaller. Yeah, this one we have to do. Let me try putting it. This will be the orientation, I just need to find a good place for it. Um, let me check something else. Yeah, a smaller one. Normal SDK Yeah, this is this is much better. Oh, righty. Yeah, so let me think this over. So in order to get to our first waypoint, I need to move this whole base. For that, I will need to switch off that drill inhabitor that we have on the base. And for that, I will need to grind down the batteries and the nuclear reactor. After I can drill, I need to free this whole building. From the ground, and I will need to add Some large thruster strip. I think since it's quite symmetrical, we can put four large thrusters on it and some smaller ones around, plus some gyros. And uh, I might need to restructure 
how things are sitting on this building in order to make everything fly with us and once everything flies I just try to reach the first waypoint that will probably be a uh, time lapse uh, yes the flying car flying car I wanted to give you an update on it because of what's there supply transport oh that's cool that would be good to to have that one maybe i will try to get it it's a supply transport after all it should have like two or three guns on it maximum and i should be able to land on top of it problem is even if i can land i will not be able to lock on it anyway i will get the next one so, update on the fly car. Ah, I added the connectors to it because it would have been inefficient to just simply would have been inefficient to simply just uh, try to recharge the batteries with ice. So I connected this to the connected to this hydrogen tank, which we still don't not own. I didn't want it to grind it down because it will lose the hydrogen in it. And actually we don't need to own it to, to actually use it. So now the little flying car has some extra set of wheels at the back. And another way to recharge it. And that's actually great. It is also locking the car in place so it will not fly away once uh, we manage to make this outpost fly. Oh yeah! <laughs> it will be great! Let me just keep ahead when I manage to Got the hand drilling inhabitor. This should be it. We no longer have power on the base. It means we can dig out the habitat. There it is. The cool trick. There you go. One less perpetrator. Alright, so the next thing I need to do is actually completely grind down this large refinery and then rebuild it because I need that to fix the nuclear reactor.
All right. So now that I built a large refinery, or more precisely rebuilt, I can fix a small area where I need motor and computer. More computer. Wow, there it is. Power again. And I will need to fix this too as well. I need some power cells, construction and steel. Power cells. Construction. And steel. Oh, Take a quick look around what is not mine yet here. I can just hold it what is not mine yet. And that should be it. Maybe some cargo containers because I remember not grinding down all of this oh my this max level grinder is so fast I can barely blink Alright, so this is good. Let's see what we don't have access yet. Gravity generator, hydrogen tank, oxygen tank. Yeah, I can solve at least two of those things. And for the oxygen tank... To be honest, I have no idea, maybe... On the other side of this, perhaps? Or I don't know. Oh, not the other side, I think maybe under it. Oh yeah, definitely under it. There. Oh no, that's an assembler. So what the heck is my oxygen thing? No. I should never have said that I know this base configuration because it seems I don't. Hmm. Anyway, that's not actually a problem because nothing on my base is actually targeting. anything other than weapons, so I only target weapons. Ooh, it's an That's also one of the bigger ships. Mm. 
Look at that. It's gigantic. I think I've stepped foot on one of it once in one of my solo playthroughs. But it's so heavily defended that this is not an easy target either, so it's not something you can just capture. If you can capture that ship, you probably don't need that ship anyway. <laughs> it's it's so heavily defended that if you have enough guns to 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 stop it and board it and take it yours, it's probably you already have more firepower than that. Alright, so the next step will be to dig around the base, dig it out of the snow, and add the thrusters to it. Basically convert this whole military outpost to a ship. Let's hope. See, that's why my little cargo ship broke in half, because there is a meter of snow and it was not able to fit through it. Eh. I will solve this problem. Let me forward ahead of it. Let's make it. 
Let's make it uh, right here. This is a good place for a beacon. If there was one advantage of making that mod for space engineers that I was working on in the past few days, was that I actually understand how a model in space engineer is building up. You have one base mesh, that is the completed model, and after that you need to add into the model build stages. Those are the stages when you just put down the block and when you add more materials to it. And uh, we just add a bit more here. I think I will uh, add the ish. So, so build stages. And additionally to build stages, you also need to add LOD versions of the model. LOD is standing for level of detail and that basically means that if you go far away from a model, well not this far away but very very far away when you are barely able to see it, the game is basically exchanging the model for a very low poly version of that model. So it will take a less load on the system. The whole thing is quite engineered, it, it packs all together into one, uh, well, basically asset file for space engineers. The extension is called MWM. And that, MW, and that M, MWM file contains the base mesh, the build stages, the LODs, and basically references to the textures as well. Uh, the textures, I don't think they are stored in the MWM file, but in a separate directory. But you can, you know, reference them when you are building the model. So if you reference them as the texture is in the textures folder named XYZ, then when you are building your mod, you can basically create a folder, in it you have a models folder, that's where you have the MWM defect asset, basically, and uh, next to it there's a textures folder with the same names of texture, textures that are referenced when you are creating the model, and that's how it will recognize the uh, textures for any modded block for space engineers. But it was just a cool, cool side information now that I was previously not really thinking about build stages at all now I kind of understand how it goes Sorry, the beacon, not, not bacon. We don't have yet bacon in Space Engineers. Maybe I need to mod it. Inventory full. And... Almost functional. I rebuilt the antenna because it's actually a little bit empty around here and if you have an active antenna 
Then it will just spawn a couple of small bases around us. I'm a bit hesitant because these three turrets actually not even four because the last one I forgot to rebuild will probably not be enough to repel anything big but I might be able to deal with some smaller things I have the flying car if I ever need to shoot something although it only has the big cannon and I'm not particularly sure about the ammo but we can definitely add uh, not definitely, but probably can, we can add another turret here on top of the connector and that should be able to shoot down uh, and it will be able to shoot down whatever comes our way alright, so let me quickly put a turret there because if something like an asset will spawn all we will see is just a small fly coming to our base and basically destroying it but destroying it entirely check because the other one requires a different ammo what I could put here is assault cannon turret and that will use assault cannon shells I think I can make that oh, and that this one Shell, alright. Well, let's make. Uh, probably I won't be able to make a hundred, but how much we can, any we can make is good. And let's finish the turret. And yes, I know this is a side track, but we need defenses anyway, so it's a useful side track. Dang it. I know I had to start with making a miner. Let's see what it can do. I saw a cannon turret. Aiming, I set it to max. And by default, it will target weapons. We will see how it work out. That work out. Because if it manages to shoot the assault weapon out of the drone, then we can use the rest. our base salvaging for the win all right I don't say I'm comfortable but at least we have four big cannons aimed at whatever comes at us so I will continue digging out this base actually let me check what I need for a better mining equipment because I'm an idiot and I should have been able to build this much more earlier why that one? 
See that? See that? See that? I said the trash is coming. Uh, I think it's some character weapons. Four kilometers out. Oh wait, that might not even come in here, right? Let me check. It's not even coming here. Oh, for a second, I thought we will have a visitor, but luckily that's not it. And that ship is just passing by. Oh. All right. You can see that whoever built this. Never imagined it to fly. That's why we go flight. All right, look at that. I managed to clear the eyes out of most of this, and it turns out we are missing more than a couple of blocks here and there. Nothing we can't repair, but still, I, I thought we have a complete base. We have been cheated. <laughs> Alright, so the next step is to basically plug in the holes and I wanted to add the landing gear to it. And after that, I will probably need to grind and rebuild most of this because as long as there's a voxel inside the block or any part of the structure it will not convert into a ship so i need to make sure that there is no snow anywhere after that we can think about adding thrusters to it somewhere probably on the sides like from here I will add four gigantic thrusters, perhaps. But to know how many thrusters we actually need, we actually need to know how much the base will weigh. And we will only know how much the base will weigh if we convert it to a ship. So, clean up, repair. Add the snow at the landing gear from where to ship. That's our next step. All right, let me skip ahead. I love the snowfall, it's so nice. Actually, now that I think of it, we don't really need a gravity gen. And it contains a lot of useful stuff that we would otherwise need. Let me get rid of that. Alright, so the yard is more or less clean. But I'm sure there are a lot of ice boxes within the walls. If nothing else, I saw this. Oh. Nothing else I saw that even in this room there's snow. So you probably need to cut into a lot of places and replace elements to cut the voxels out and free this space. I won't use magnetic plate after my first episode. That thing, and they like two extra hours to 
my gameplay because I forget that I have it and it stuck me to the snow yeah I will need more space for this Be sure. All right, so okay, my new convert to ship is not possible because we still have boxes in it. So ah, there's keep ahead while I was rebuilding most of the bottom section and removed all the excess snow. Seems as I was replacing the blocks under it. I managed to damage my only big medical bay. So no quick repairs for me until I get the medical components, which are basically too expensive for me. I think they need silver or something similar. And I don't think I have found silver yet but this is out of commission or what I can do is basically grind down the survival kit and replace the components from that one to this one because this would actually be a better medical kit but we will see for the moment I'm okay with just finishing the job This is why we not dig out basic skins. There's always 
one boxer that you cannot mine out. And if this one is stuck in the basin, then you will not be able to convert it to a ship. Or I'm not particularly sure, but it seems to be solid because it has collision. But I cannot find the speed sweet spot easily. So I'm just standing here trying to find that one pixel where you can mine this one out or you can just simply not be out here. Still, it sucks. And I think I also managed to build over one of these or maybe even two. We will see if this is actually a problem for converting to a ship or not. Because I replaced all the blocks down here. And none of these should contain ice. We will see if it will be enough to convert this to a ship or not. of a ship. Let me see if we can lift this up a bit. Actually, I don't know which piston was it. Let's see, it's a local piston. Currently 0.5, no. It's piston number two. Let me add maximum distance to 10 meters and see the magic. It lifts the whole base up. Is it cool or what? <laughs> Mobile. All right, so for the next part, I need to plug in the holes, fix whatever is broken, and mine enough materials so I can get well a few large thrusters on this one. I would wager I would need at least. Or, but let me quickly check what the knowledge base says about uh, thrusters and, and weight. So they currently weigh 32, 321,860 kilos. And this is 1.2. 0G so it is what it is let me check quickly how much a large atmospheric thruster can lift all right so the knowledge base says that a large atmospheric thruster large grid can lift up to 661 thousand kilos so basically this whole base we could lift this whole base with one large atmospheric thruster which is very cool or we can large it we can lift it with one large hydrogen thruster 
since we have nuclear reactor we also have fuel so maybe I build one of each and we will see that should be able to lift up around 13 1.3 million kilos if we have one of each large thrusters one of them should be able to lift the whole thing but two of them definitely will be enough for a long time what I don't have though is enough components and unless I wanna dig the whole ice under me out I will probably need to move this base somewhere so my first priority will be to create one large thruster and some directional thrusters and gyros and I will try to lift this base with that and move it to a location where it's a bit more b better for resources because right now what we have here is only right, uh, ice and some stone uh, but it's far from ideal I also need to figure out which way is better to go for our first waypoint because in this video I really want to try to reach that waypoint it's a hundred kilometers but so it, I think it's exactly on the other side of the planet so I think it, it was maybe like a bit closer in that direction so towards that I will try to launch and move it to a location which is better to manage maybe I grab the town on signal though just so I have some variety And for that, I can use my fancy ship. No fuel. No fuel. Some fuel. <laughs> Let me remove. Oh, yeah. All right. So I will need thrusters on, and with that, I have 50 minutes. Uh. Okay, <laughs> slight calculation error. All right, let's get that signal. See what we will get from this. Credits and steel plate. This will be useful if we ever reach Bertam. Because I think I've set economy one, so on that planet we will have some opportunity to do some missions. See, so the large atmospheric thrusters are actually very powerful. Oh, what is smoking? Something is smoking. Oh, I think it's the ore detector. I'm an idiot. I managed to put that thruster blowing straight at it. Yeah. Let me get back to the base and fix that. Unfortunate placement.
All right. I'm now reconnected to the base. Dun, dun, dun. This is off. Actually, I can switch everything. No fuel. Okay. So, yeah. Don't be it like this. <laughs> I do need that or detector too, so let me just try to remake that in a better location. Actually, it would be good to have it. Like here, on this one somewhere. Yeah, and that's a nice place. Detector component. Let's see if I have any of those. Of course I don't. Boobity boobity boop. Hi there, this is Return Me from the future. Around this time in the recording, OBS had a super massive turbo brain fart and stopped recording all kinds of Space Engineers content. It just simply dropped me an error saying some error occurred. <laughs> Unfortunately, I noticed this error too late and I already tried to record at least an additional hour to this video. Unfortunately, nothing I can do about it, so let me just quickly summarize what happened in that one hour. Of course, a lot happened and of course, it was an action-packed, suspenseful defense of my new base against an asset. Not long after this video cut off, I went to get some silver to fix some of the equipment, like the medical room that I was damaged. And uh, I, I did find silver, it was great, but when I arrived back to the base, I noticed that there was an asset research base around 6 kilometers from it. And how I noticed it, of course, is that it sent me a large drone trying to murderize me and the whole base. I like to add here that any rumors about me screaming like a little girl when that appeared out of nowhere is pure speculation and there's no basis of that at all. Also no recording of it. I managed to heroically defend my base and uh, around two or three waves of asset drones I managed to fix up the wasp and went against the asset base and we will cut back to the video at the point where I arrived at the asset base I managed to shoot out the main antenna and I will continue my assault from there Sorry for this, these things happen when you record a video and when OBS is a giant pile of shit. and I just noticed it too late this time hopefully it will not ruin the enjoyment of this video Let's see the rest of it. Alright people, I have a slight issue. After recording 4 hours of video from this episode, it turns out my OBS was having a crash and it was not able to record I don't even know how long of the video. Let me loop you into where we are. An asset base was spawning quite close to me and started sending me all sorts of drones to attack me. I survived with a minor heart attack and now I'm assaulting the asset base with my flying car. You see in the distance... Uh, where is the distance? that I managed to shoot one of the drones but it's still hovering above their base although not attacking me and I have an assertive base here and I managed to shoot the antenna out of it I plan to shoot that gun too and that gun too and after that I get a bit closer I wanted to take a look at that drone Maybe to salvage it, and or if I can, maybe capture it. So that's where we are right now. I'll just continue from this point. 
and uh, apologies for the cut it was beyond my control it's I blame OBS <laughs> because it just stopped recording this stuff happens so let's just continue from here and we will see where we will manage to go alright so let me try shooting out those guns Okay, close, but good enough. That's the one. I see some smoke. Or sparks, even. Oh yeah, one gun down. Let's shoot the other one. Oh, that was a perfect shot. Let me try to get closer to this one. And see if something is shooting back at us. Actually, I don't need to go by car saving the survivor kit let me try to fly there and see if I can just simply See anything shooting at me, so that's a good sign. The drone is not attacking either. Okay, so I think we are good for the base. Let's see if they have anything on the other side. Oh shit, they have! <laughs> I almost managed to get myself shot. Let me try to quickly inch there and try to shoot it. These are very tricky, so I don't manage to shoot it. It will definitely find an angle on me. See that? It was really trying to shoot me, but it was not able to shoot the block. Oh yeah. Alright. So the asset base is now mine. I think Oh yeah, I think I've seen this setup before. You can go down there and there's a tricky door. I will explore it eventually but let me see if the drone will attack me or I can just go around it if it has any sensor it might try to turn on me alright so it's gun is out I don't know where the 
AI block is on this one but it seems to be not moving anywhere oh yeah I just love these new gun upgrades that you can shoot the gun out of something and these older asset drones I just stop, stop attacking and just standing there I will probably need to add the chair on this one <laughs> see see what happens if I can control it I will probably need to kill the remote block but I don't see any obvious way of where is it but it is a flying ship oh. battery seems to be limited though small battery, small battery Ah uh, no. I think the remote control block was somewhere in the front. But I wouldn't Anyway, let's just try slapping a chair on it, a common chair. Oh yeah. In case my video that I recorded in the first 3-4 hours would not be good this is what I did with the base I am in the process of turning it into a ship a very ugly ship I was digging under it clearing out the ice I was replacing all the bottom blocks because if there were there were voxel pieces in it like ice like like this floating piece I would not be able to convert it to a a ship but since I I managed to clean everything out and replace all the parts that had snow in it I managed to convert it and now it is a flyable ship it just doesn't have the thrusters yet to fly I will need to finish that one and that's because as per my calculations this one large atmospheric thruster should be able to lift the whole thing but since I have a full tank of hydrogen I was planning to add a large hydrogen tank here as well and these two will definitely be able to lift this up and hopefully we'll have enough power as well to to drive me to my waypoint at the other end of the earth other side but yeah, for the moment, I need to deal with that asset base. And one asset base is enough for the day, so what I will do is that I will switch off my antenna. I think I called it my base now. I also had a beacon. I switched this one off also. Because I also have a, a GPS location for I don't strictly need any of those. I actually just switched on the antenna so I can get uh, an asset base spawning because I was a bit low on resources and it's easier to salvage than to actually mine and make. Alright, let's see about that. Let's bring this closer. It has no reason to be this far when there is no danger there. Oh shit! Oh, da, 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 da. oh no. Well, 
I won't salvage that drone. Stop shooting, mate. There's nothing to shoot. We're just wasting good materials. This drone actually ran out of battery. And fell down. And it probably destroyed some of it. Actually not entirely destroyed. But it has no power whatsoever. Hmm, let me think this over. Let me just go inside that base and try to find the loot inside. I will probably die a few times, but it's fine. I still have my... Survivor kit here. And I have 4 hours of battery left, so... Yeah, let's take a look inside, if there's immediately usable things there somewhere. I do know there's a long way down here, and it's tricky and it has some turrets like there. There's a bunch of these, like a bunch. Yeah, not there. Let's look. Okay, not here. Yeah, there's a light, so maybe here. Not here either. Damn, I told you it's tricky. Oh, there it is. And that was in that block. So, instead of killing myself here, let me just... That do the trick. It did not. Huh, why didn't it attack me? Oh yeah, it did the trick. The block it was connecting it to power was destroyed. It was still connected to the bedroom, but it had no power. All right, let's see the next one. Okay, maybe in the next. The one. Let's see if I can snipe it from here. I 
think I'm sniping it. But I do get reputation loss. Alright, I think this was the last one. But this is a tricky door. If I enter here, I almost immediately die because under that plate over there, there's a welding. Uh, a, a welding arm. And it should repair the doors as well, I think. Let me see. See? There's the welding arm and there's two of them. And there's a sensor somewhere. I, I'm not sure where that sensor is. But if you walk in here, it will activate the welders. And uh, close the doors and lock them. Let me try. Oh yeah, I can take the welder out. Ah, ah, <laughs> fooled me once. You will not fool me again. You can try sucking the air out, my friend. This will not help you. Let me see if I can get the other weather, but oh. So the welder was trying to weld itself. There you go. Uh, let me get a, a some sort of a block to cover this. Actually, walk on this and don't need to burn hydrogen. Inventory and full. I think the rest should be fairly. Inventory fairly full. okay. Inventory full. I'm not convinced that there aren't more to rats. So I will be just cautiously going. trying to shoot me yet, so we are good. Okay, that's good. I think there might be some trick in that room. But I might remember it wrong. Alright, nothing here, nothing here. Great. Oh, there's some food and some notes. Oh, a recipe. Too bad there's no cooking in space engineers. Imagine the fun. Inventory full. Okay, credits. Power kit, house kit. Access denied. Uh, do I miss something? Hello there, sir. Organic. Somebody pooped in the cargo container. Nothing here. 
Alright, so that was the way. Oh no, wait, there was one more wing, I think. The server room. Yeah, so servers and timer blocks. Let me just make sure these timer blocks will not trigger anything. Batteries. And basically that was it. And no loot. But the base is loot itself. I will have to eventually take everything from here. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Let me try though. Just out of pure curiosity I wanted to know if I can lift it with two thrusters. No? Huh? Alright, I am locked. But no freaking way. Oh no 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 I see my error piston one or two Oh no, but I need this landing gear switch lock. Is it safe for me? Oh crap! Alright, let me see if I can wiggle myself back. Just add some batteries to this. Large battery. Well, luckily we have some steel plate right here. We try to flip this. I know it's not stuck. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not ideal. Thrusters are okay. Thing is burning. Let me see. All right, so it's working. Okay, let me salvage this one first. All right, let me find some way to lift this. The best way to do that would be to add a third large. Uh, thruster to this one. Let me quickly make some space for it and add it somewhere here.
no, 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 no. Don't freaking flip. Alright. Large atmospheric thruster. Ah. This is again flip, and a majority of the weight is on the other side, even. Uh, Alright. Batteries. Let's flip it once again. So unstable. See what we have now. All right, so the ice storage is halfway full. Let me yeah, engine on, thrusters on. Four minutes. Let's give it a go. Oh shit. It's actually falls out of the sky now. Because I don't have enough battery. But let's see if I can actually lift this one. how much I try I will not leave this one let me see if I can put some wheels on this let me see if I can just hitch on this oh, I hitched on it and now I remove all the batteries. Okay, so technically it's hitched. It would be better if I would have put another piston there. Let's see if I can pull it. <laughs> oh yeah look at that still in the asset drone on three unmade wheels <laughs> oh yeah 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 let me come back to you when I manage to bring this to my base it will be a long trip oh yeah home run my base is so close let me save a bit just to be sure although since it's not powered my cannon should not shoot it I said shoot god damn it Shot to hell. Huh, it seems to be just outside the range. 
Let me see if I can. Ah, oh, god damn it. Stop shooting. Off, wait, off. Let her everything be off. I just want to bring this home. back a bit. Let me see if I can jump up here. Fuel critical. Ow. I thought it was a smooth landing. Ten out of ten. Alright, this is it. I managed to steal Splitz's drone and I'm quite proud of myself for it. And I will deal with this in the next episode. So the plan for the next episode will be to finish these thrusters, both of them, both the hydrogen and the atmospheric. And add small thrusters to this, large grid small thrusters for directions and the gyro and fly this closer to the asset base that I managed to neutralize today. I will also attempt to uh, repair this zone and activate it. So I can use it either to fly or to, to patrol my base. Although this is a clunky contraption, I don't think general like it. Many thrusters that way. I wouldn't mind the design if it would actually both be symmetrical, so maybe I will do some modifications. Remove this arm, flip the whole thing, make the other wing. Just as symmetrical as this one. Yeah, I can do some good modifications to this. But that will have to wait until the next episode. Because it's actually very late where I am, so. everybody i hope you enjoyed this episode if you do give it a like and i'll be back shortly with another episode of space engineers until then bye bye